Can you solve this question asked in Australian Intermediate Olympiad exam? We are given positive integers a, b, c, d, such that sum of a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 63. And the question is to find the maximum possible value of the expression a times b plus b times c plus c times d. You can pause the video and take a moment to think about it. And when you are ready, you can always come back to verify your answer. All right, let us solve it together. To solve this problem, we are going to use something called an area model. So let's start by building rectangles that represent each term. First, for a times b, imagine a rectangle where one side is a and the other side is b. That gives us a rectangle with area a times b. Now to represent b times c, we extend the rectangle by adding strip of length c on height b. That gives us a rectangle with area b times c. And finally, to represent c times d, we build one more rectangle by adding a strip with length c and width d. That gives us the area c times d. Now just for fun, let's go ahead and complete a rectangle with area a times d. Now if you look closely, the blue shaded area, which includes a times b, b times c, and c times d, is just the area of this big completed rectangle a, b, c, d, minus the area of this small missing rectangle a times d. Correct. So algebraically, we can write this. A times b plus b times c plus c times d equals the total area of this big rectangle ABCD, which is a plus c times b plus d minus a times d. So now, instead of maximizing this strange sum, we just need to maximize the area of a rectangle, a plus c times b plus d, and subtract a times d from this. Now look carefully to make this subtraction as small as possible. We want value of a and d to be as small as possible, correct? And since we have told that a and d are both positive integers, the smallest value they can have is 1. So let's set a equal to 1 and d equal to 1. Look at this original condition that total sum of all variables is 63. That means a plus b plus c plus d equals 63. And substituting a and d as one each, we now have 1 plus b plus c plus 1 equals 63. And subtracting 2 from both sides, we get b plus c equals 61, right? Let's call this as equation 1. That's nice, because now we only need to work with two variables b and c in order to maximize the original expression. Now let's go back to this original expression, a times b plus b times c plus c times d. With a and d equal to 1, this becomes 1 times b plus b times c plus c times 1. This simplifies to b plus c plus b times c, so our target is now to maximize this term only. Let's try substituting b as 61 minus c from equation 1. That gives us 61 minus c plus c plus quantity, the 61 minus c times c. Now canceling this minus c and plus c and multiplying this out, we get 61 plus 61 times c minus c squared. Did you notice something? This is a quadratic expression in C, and we know that the maximum value of a quadratic happens at the vertex. In any quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, the maximum or minimum value happens when x equals negative b divided by 2a. And in our quadratic, a is equal to minus 1, and b is equal to 61. So applying this here, the vertex occurs when c equals negative 61 divided by 2 times negative 1, which simplifies to c equals 61 divided by 2 or 30.5. But as per question, c has to be a positive integer. So we need to test both the closest integers, which is c equals 30 and c equals 31. So substituting c equal to 30 we get 61 plus 61 times 30 minus 30 square, which simplifies to 991. And substituting c equal to 31, we get 61 plus 61 times 31 minus 31 square, which again simplifies to 991. Surprisingly, we get the same answer both way. So the maximum possible value of the expression a times b plus b times c plus c times d is 991. And that's our final answer. Pretty amazing, isn't it? What looked like an abstract and difficult algebra problem, it turned out to be something beautiful and geometric just by using rectangles and symmetry. If you found this explanation helpful and learned something new, do not forget to hit that like button, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more mind-bending math puzzles. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.